What's up? Danny Hanisaka with Colony Company. People do their business better. Today we have a good one. We have the Bose VB1 all-in-one video bar. So stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, what we do here is test professional and business grade audio and video solutions so that you can make more informed purchasing decisions. So let's start with this Bose Video Bar VB1. From what I found on the internet, it comes in at an MSRP of $1,199. It has a two year warranty uh, and it's designed for small meeting areas uh, from huddle spaces uh, to medium sized rooms. It's got six beam uh, steering microphones, uh, automatically focus on voices. Uh, in the room and reject noise, a 4K Ultra HD camera with auto framing delivers crystal clear video, uh, helping remote participants feel like they're in the room. Uh, the camera field of view is 123 degrees diagonal, 115 degrees uh, horizontal, 81 degrees vertical, image sensor 8 uh, MP, focus distance 0.5 meters or 1.6 feet to infinity, uh, lens up to five times digital zoom, attachable camera privacy cover included, positioning auto framing capability or manual pan tilt zoom, which we're going to demonstrate uh, with three configurable presets, analog audio 3.5 millimeter input. And then the way that you manage this is via Bose Work configuration software or Bose Work mobile app available for iOS and Android. All right, but anyway, enough uh, chit chat. Let's get this guy plugged in. Uh, and so you can see and hear how this uh, VB1, Bose VB1 uh, video bar performs. Stay tuned. All right, so here we have the Bose VB1 video bar set up. It's I'm roughly six feet away from the device. So uh, this is what a huddle space would be like. This is probably the distance I'd be from that video bar. Uh, so you, we are using the microphones. Uh, that are built into the Bose video bar to pick up my audio. Uh, so this is what it would sound like if I was sitting over here. Um, and it does have those presets. So currently I'm at home and I'm going to click over to this box or this uh, stack of boxes here in my office. All right. And then we can come back home. All right. So now I'm at home and then I can set it to number one to remind you all to you know, like and subscribe. Let's go back home. All right, and that's all being done through this remote control. Um, and then now I'm gonna set it to auto track or auto frame. All right, so now it should auto frame and it should find me and sort of zoom in on me. So there we go. And now I'm gonna get up uh, so you can see how well the tracking performs or auto framing performs. So I'm gonna get up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so you see it's not very fast. Now there is device management software uh, that's available, uh, but I didn't see any options to adjust the speed of the tracking. Uh, so it, it just is what it is, uh, you know, once you update all the firmware uh, through the, uh, the management software. So I'm gonna come over here now. Uh, let's try this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so you see again, it's not really quick, uh, but that's a quick test of that. And so now I'm gonna introduce my buddies. We'll introduce uh, old Dwight here and Mr. Michael Scott into the mix to see how well this frames us now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now you see it's framed uh, all of us uh, in the uh, field of view. So there you go. There's a quick demonstration of the Bose VB1 uh, video bar. Uh, you saw the auto tracking, you saw the presets. Uh, you're hearing the microphone pickup quality of it. And again, I'm six feet away. But if you like this type of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see and we'll do our best to make it. Thanks.